members of, of the governing party. And then, I mean, also, uh, right before and right after the referendum, this constitutional amendments, it was not a referendum of, for, for new constitution. New constitution is supposedly is being written, uh, written by a commission in Turkey with no success so far. It was a, man, a part of a package of amendments at the time. And at the time, there was this, again, rise of anti alevi discourse. And uh, governmental circles felt free to talk of Alevi dominance or removing Alevi dominance over judiciary. And uh, they felt free to present this, this uh, reform of judiciary by amendment as a, a rightful attempt to, to change the structure of judiciary by saving it from Alevi dominance. My, my question was a lot more specific than that. The local party's uh, activities, such as uh, uh, its attack on, on students, its attack on academics, uh, uh, and al okay. um, Tafikat Commission, Special Commission, Parliamentary Special Commission, and Usha Bolaya, all these led a lot of people, uh, Democrats, to question the legitimacy, the, the very legal political at the time of the Democratic Party. At the time. Exactly. Well, who were these people? I, I, I was one of them. Uh, yeah, you were, well, I am one of uh, those who are questioning the legitimacy of the current government. But, but, and there is not I'm this sorry, you know, this, popular, you know. Uh, this, this is what I'm asking. Uh, the similar activities by attacking the academics, attacking the, the journalists, uh, the students. Etc. Uh, is it good enough reason for us to, to, to question its legitimacy? Of course, and of course, of course it is. Well, I, I didn't take your question like that. I'm sorry, so I, I talk too, too long there. Uh, using your question as a pretext. <laughs> so of course, it, it, it is a lot uh, of reason and room, enough room to start. Uh, questioning the legitimacy of the current government. But 1950s is not a good example in this case because after all this period ended up with a terrible military intervention. So we should also avoid recalling such an attempt or such a toad. I wasn't implying no, no, that. No, I'm not saying it. You're implying that. And talking of the uh, Democrat Party, I should also remind the fact that the rise of uh, civil uh, politics has been thought of uh, automatically the rise of democratic politics. This is not so in, in, in many countries uh, uh, throughout history. There are many examples that are, these are different things. The rise of civil politics also could get very authoritarian. This was my first very radical criticism against GDP and first real hostility uh, of the governing party against me. I talked of this rise of uh, civil politics could result as the ri also the rise of authoritarian politics. It shouldn't necessarily, it could not necessarily be only military authoritarianism. This time, military or you know, judicial bureaucratic authoritarianism could easily be replaced by civil body. And uh, that's why I'm, this is, I think, also very crucial about Turkey. And many observers of Turkey Another friend of us who suggested that actually from the beginning actually nobody was hopeful about uh, GDP as, as, as a dynamic of democratization, but it's not true. I mean, there were those who, who were not hopeful and there were many others, Democrats and left uh, liberals and or foreign observers of Turkey who were very, very hopeful about uh, the governing party as 
as a um, reliable dynamic of uh, or good start for democratization, democratic transformation in Turkey. Um, what was the other question? Ah, Syria. Ah, before Syria. Why don't I talk about Syria later? I mean, no other question is left. I will lead to the second part of, of my answers. But before that, someone asked about what should have been done to support uh, the cause of democracy in Turkey. But well, unfortunately, nowadays, Turkish government is so, or t Turkish public opinion as well, they, they so, so skeptical about criticism coming from abroad. Uh, they are intolerant of criticism coming from inside, from dissent in, within the country. And they are also extremely skeptical of criticism or any pressurizing coming from abroad. So uh, it may backfire if we suggest the help of Western Democrats. What so, about civil rights to civil rights movement in terms of their context? But I'm not suggesting that. I mean, nobody should, I mean, everybody should keep silent. No, of course, I, I, I wish that, you know, there, 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 there is even more, more concern and support for, for human rights and uh, democracy uh, deficits in Turkey and more questioning of Turkey, more criticism of Turkey, more encouragement of Turkish democrats, more encouragement of descend in Turkey. But on top of everything, I think the most essential thing is to support Kurdish rights and liberties. Because this is the key of democracy. It turned to be the key of democracy in Turkey. And the future, key of future of democratic politics in Turkey. Because after all, at the end of the day, now Turkey is divided into two. Kurds, and uh, their uh, handful Turkish supporters and the others. And the Conservative Party is using it to, to repress opposition in general by relating, uh, uh, also using this, this weakness of opposition uh, party, including not only nations, parties, nations, anyway. But the Republican People Party has also its nationalist way. So using it, this, this governing party now uh, uh, repress all sorts of criticism by relating it to Kurdish question, by relating anybody who, who comes up with criticism, especially if, it call, if it's concerned with Kurdish question, to be linked with terrorism. And anyway, we have draconian laws of terrorism. And uh, now uh, we are witnessing the extensive use and interpretation of the current ter uh, laws on terror. So there is this danger of uh, eliminating whole democratic space uh, by by using this this atmosphere of fight against terrorism or domestic war on terrorism, if you like. So that's why it's, it's a key, and of course for for some other respects as well, for, for the well-being and, you know, liberties of Kurds, Turkish minority. Uh, this is the key of democratization in Turkey. That's why I think the essential, the most essential thing is to support Kurdish rights and liberties for the future of Turkish democracy. Any other question? Any other question? There was one of the questions no. about how the Kurdish issue would be resolved. How the Kurdish, how Kurdish issue could be resolved, I really don't know. Uh, uh, we may all have suggestions. Uh, uh, of course, I I have suggestions, but I mean, sincerely, I really don't know. I mean, what may happen? I mean, if this government or if political actors in Turkey could could manage uh, start a new episode, because. We, I think we have to start a new episode with Kurds uh, 
we, I think Turkey, all political actors starting with the government party and the government should recognize the fact that they have to negotiate with the actors of Kurdish opposition. Uh, BDP as a democratic uh, political party in the parliament. PKK as the armed branch of uh, Kurdish so-called uh, liberation movement or resistance movement. And Öcalan, of course, as the leader of Kurdish opposition. Unless uh, Turkish state and the current government and all other actor, actors recognize the fact that it is necessary to ne negotiate with all these uh, actors and uh, to tell the public opinion, Turkish public opinion, to start to tell Turkish public opinion the truth, plain truth about the Kurdish question. Unless they do so, uh, I do not imagine any, any solution in the near future will happen. Uh, yeah, I also answer questions about Syria, but I think I'm, there may be some others, so I, I, I want Article 3. Article 3 we have many articles, more infamous, uh, more troublesome, let alone Article 301. We have this terrorism act. Uh, apart from changing the constitution, actually the, a group of democrats suggested that first we have to have, we have to clean the way going into a total change of constitution. And in this way, first move should be changing, or removing if possible, what is this act of terrorism and Turkish current Turkish uh, criminal. Law. And uh, and still we could not even manage to do it. <laughs> do you know Hopefully, you also. Do you know what is the new constitution, which not nobody me. seems to know? No, no, not me. Okay, can we have some more questions, please, lady from there? Uh, Thank you. 
that project is much better than this. Uh, I have never seen that. There's always a really uh, understanding and really discussion, especially on the Kurdish question. The horrible state is the general case having at the moment. That's one question. And the second one is, what, how the earth is all uh, shape of the left, as well as the broad intellectuals, do not discuss any issue from the economic political angle. Instead, they use always the political, narrow-minded political element. Everything is discussed on the political things. About the goals, about this institute. But nobody is discussing about the nature of the state, the nature of the law, how it needs to be changed, what is happening in Europe. And Europe is always is a com um, comparison point. I've been here for 41 years, for God's sake, there's no democracy in anywhere in the world. So that needs to come out properly. And it doesn't. Everybody is aspiring. Think of Yar, as when you look at the politics and the Turkish position, and the, uh, the, um, the level of um, maturity of people <coughs> understanding everything, we are in a position to ask and demand. It's that simply the children are demanding from their parents, give me that one, buy that one, etc. Is there a budget for that? Because Turkey is not in England or not in America. I mean, all those kind of things need to be discussed by the intellectuals. And I see how the knowledge discussion doesn't take us anywhere. It's like beating the water in the um, what do you call it? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, uh, uh, you said you cannot say any solution for Kurdish issue in the near future. Unless. Unless. <laughs> okay. uh, what about the conscientious objection in, in Turkey? Do you think. What's that? Sorry. Is that a metallic? Is Conscientious objection. Yeah. What about conscientious objections Do you think the CEO would want to take the place in theory to solve the Kurdish issue? No. Theoretically, yes, I think it's very important to be taken uh importance, but in practice, I mean, it's it's they are too weak. They have so little support. So I mean, if you wait them to 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 uh, to get more support and everything, I mean, well, it will be not good prospect for solving Kurdish question. I'm not really snubbing the idea at all. But um, this is the real plain truth about Turkey that they. In the near future, they don't seem uh, to, to be impactful on Kurdish question, other than the idea <coughs> is right and correct concerning the problem. Okay, thank you. From them. I'd like to ask a question. I try to be very positive about Turkey and the way things are going as much as I can. And like John Major, I'm very keen on education, education, education. There's a lot of fuss about four plus four plus four changes. To me, it sounds a good idea. Starting education at the age of five, starting in the 60s, and you know, schools can have 12 years of education or everybody going to school. So I don't understand. Then about that. You haven't mentioned anything about it, but to me, it sounds a very important issue. And I'm very positive about it, and I don't understand the criticism that you Thank you. The gentleman in Medida, yes, here. Okay. Um, given what you said, and if anyone who is a bit familiar with the recent Turkish history, I feel like it says there is a reincarnation, a possible reincarnation of authoritarian, regressive military practices. And given this, I, to my mind, one can come to the conclusion that maybe there's a problem of, in the culture of the society. 
rather than a structural um, problem. So a problem specifically speaking with a culture of collaboration. So if I was wondering if you would agree with that. So what I'm saying is that rather than a structural problem, there's a cultural problem. And if you agree, do you think that there is any hope to promote the culture of to toleration in Turkey? At the start of your talk, you referred briefly to the government's uh, regional policies. I was wondering, um, given that the Turkish government has had to reassess its policy towards the Middle East region very radically um, because of these events in the Arab world, not just so, um, to what extent do you see what it has done as being in Turkey's of uh, national interest? And to what extent? You see its policies towards the region as not being in Turkey's national interest. Mm. 